Jose Uzkatagi, Julius Jackson, the winner. Well, they want a shot at the newly crowned super middleweight champ, James DeGale. This is round one. Jackson in the navy blue trunks, the gold trim. Uzkatagi in the red, yellow, and blue trunks. And he comes out throwing a left hook to the body and a right. Well, let's see who gets out the kitchen. Both guys can both composed. Both have a lot of amateur experience. So you can tell fundamentally they're both in a good stance, hands high. Well schooled. You can tell Uskatagi's hands are heavy the way the punches sound, even though uh, Thomas blocked him. You can tell he's a big puncher. Here's a big right by Uskatag. came out with that aggressive mentality. And he throws Jackson. Hurt him bad. Jackson's eyes are wide open. Five, six, seven, eight. Come to me, come to me. You good? You gotta hold. Good? Okay, here you go. gonna have to hold now. Who's Kotagi told us Jackson will not last six rounds with me in this fight. He said his father may be the champion, but he can't help him in the ring. And he held on there. Yeah, he's gotta be smart here. As I said earlier, you could you could hear those punches. They sound like gunfire going off. And he's got Jackson in the corner in trouble. He goes down again. And Paul, his eyes are glazed now. He's hurt bad now. He should have took the eight count on me. He has to move and he has to hold. He has to, I don't know if he even knows where he is. He's gonna have to hold, man. This is gonna be tough. You see the ref can great view right now. He has to be smart here. He's got to move. Tagging. He's, not He's looking to finish. Minute left in this fight. And Jackson grabs it. That might have bought him some time. We'll see. I thought he was going to take really ruthless with those short little combinations, though, man. Jackson has to keep his hands oh, up. Right counter, right hand. counter right over the top of the jab. The problem is he's trying again. to fight him instead of steering him and keeping his hands up. Keeping it. Another left and down. That possibly could have been a slip. I didn't see a punch. Did you see a punch, Paulie? I think he's still hurt. Oh, that that counter right hand earlier. Oh, he's game. definitely hurt. He's got to move, but he can't. He can't. His legs are gone. He can't move. His legs are gone, and he's losing sight of him. by Uskatagi. That's a slip. Let's see if he makes it out of the round. This is going to be. Ten he cannot left. lose sight of him. He has to keep his eyes on what, he, what he's doing. That's the mistake. Let him go. Stop, 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 stop. Let him go. And ah. Jackson survives the first round after going down three times. What a what a here and go. Let's go, DJ, man. Whoa, man, box. Take a look at some of these knockdowns here. From round one. Come on, man. As we watch the corner. And here's a Uskatagi with a clean right hand, clean, what? sharp right hand. He came out with like a man on a mission, did Uskatagi. Here's a second knockdown. A little combination of both shots, but another right hand lands on the end. And you see how look how wide Jackson's eyes are open. He's trying to clear his vision. And here's a third knockdown. There's a little hook. And he was again, Jackson was hurt, still hurt from the initial knockdowns. Here's another look at that second one. And look at Uskatagi. Make a little bit of room with that forearm as Jackson tries to smother and then make space for that left hook to land. Let's go, Hey, hey, focus, man, get yourself, man. Use a jab, body first, hold him. Jackson's eyes are still glazed. He's still hurt. Let's see if he fights smart and survives and doesn't come in the range of Ruiz Katak. And, and he has to keep him off, plain and simple. Establish that range and establish that distance of why he's going to him right now, I have no idea. He has to angle his body, but he wants to be a man here. He has to be intelligent here. He has to be intelligent. He hasn't fully recovered. You know, the interesting thing, Paul, I go back to the fighter meeting where he said, his father never held, I don't hold. Look at the combination by Uzgatagi. Jackson's wobbled again. He's got no legs. He's hurt and against the ropes. Target practice for Uzgatagi. And Jackson goes down. And Tony Weeks says that's it. So, 
Powerful performance by Oskategi. This will be a learning experience for Jackson. We have Uzgatagi's coach over there pointing at us and said he told us. What a win a for Jose Uzgatagi. Uzgatagi, nickname is Bolavita, which means money, and he was money tonight here in San Antonio as he delivers Julius Jackson his first defeat. When we come back, the official time of this stoppage. You're watching the PBC on FS1. What a night it's been in San Antonio. Virgil, take me through what we saw here. Well, what we see here is the first knockdown. Big right over the top, right on the money, the point of the chin. The second knockdown comes, I believe, from a combination. Right hand with left hook to follow. Again, right on the nerve mandible. Third knockdown, a short right uppercut, and another left hook in the same spot as the previous one. End of the fight here. He's discombobulated, he's disoriented. Good call by Tony Weeks. He should not have been allowed to continue anymore. Well, I'll tell you, he was preaching. He told us this fight would not go six rounds. Uzgatagi was right. Let's get the official time of this stoppage. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 45 seconds of the second round. A referee in charge, Tony Weeks, waves off the bout for your winner by technical knockout, Jose Bolivita. <laughs> <laughs>